I received information earlier this week regarding the contract status of Ronald Huey. Coach Huey's contract, current contract, and that should be his only contract, his last contract, ends May 31st, 2025. Okay, that should be, that'll be the end of his 11th season as head coach of the Houston Cougars women's basketball team, basketball program. Barring some miracle, which I hope miracles do happen. I hope it does happen for the Houston Cougars women's basketball program. But barring that miracle, Coach Huey would go through 11 years at Houston with zero trips to the NCAA tournament. Again, I hope I'm wrong. I want to see Coach Huey and the women's team reach the NCAA tournament. Not the, not the WBI, not the whatever W's, NIT no longer well, still exists, but WBI is now, I think, ahead of it. So this is it. Rex, Miss Wanda, BS3 Sports, AJ, Willie Gibson, May 31st, 2025. That is the end date of Coach Huey's contract. Now they could, Houston Athletics could, do what they did with baseball's Todd Whitting and sign Coach Huey to another contract. I sure hope they don't. I'd be disappointed if they did, but not shocked. And go back to this quote from Mr. Pesman, who y'all know I'm not a big fan of based on the job performance of most of his coaching hires at Houston. Let's see, back to Chris Pesman. <clears throat> Here we go. End of it. I can't wait to see how she's going to replicate that success here at the University of Houston as we continue to grow into the Big 12. Continue to grow into the Big 12. Rex says, this is Coach Huey's last dance. Miss Wanda says it's the last opportunity to get it right. Rex adds, I think women's basketball is on the chopping block first. But it may be softball based on what's going on. It could be. The softball coach, I think she has one year left in her deal as well. But leadership, what is it? Attitude reflects leadership. And the mess that is reported, alleged, at UH softball leadership. And I go back to it. There's one person higher than the softball coach. Softball coach has a great relationship with this person. And this person has is a UH alum. This person has been in charge a long, long time. And this person has seen softball fall off a cliff, women's basketball, not reached a tournament since 2011. All of that is under her tenure at Houston. So Chris Pesman, I know you're new in, at, at Houston as an AD, it's only been since 2017. This person was there before you in her position. I hope you finally realize that some folks are not the right folks to lead Houston to grow into the Big 12 if Houston is truly, truly, true wanting to compete for championships in the Big 12. Change needs to start high up in Houston athletics. Let me say it again. Change needs to start high up 
in Houston athletics. President Couture, Board of Regents, Tillman. What is what else is there, there to see? How long is it going to take? Rex says this could be true because I th think it's also indicative of the financial problems that Houston Athletics has, which is also their fault. Rex says, but I really assume Pez is waiting on the full shares from the Big 12 to hire new coaches. Full shares begin next summer. Two years of not quite 50% a revenue dis distribution from the Big 12, then full shares starting July 1st, 2025. Then, of course, you got to pay the student assets. Oops. The student athletes, they're part, part of revenue distribution, that 17 to $22 million. Where's that money going to come from? Got to figure that out. They got to figure out how to pay these new head coaches because if and when they do hire a new women's basketball head coach, a new softball coach, I feel certain that those new head coaches will want to, will want to make more money than the current Houston head coaches. Same with the staffs for both programs. So that's additional money needed. Where's it going to come from? We shall see.